What's going on everybody? It's Shiffle Penguin here back with another video. Today we're going over my day one of 3.19 Lake of Kalandra League where I started as a Deadeye uh, or started as a Ranger, sent it to a Deadeye using Spectral Helix, pretty much entire leveling process and I'm going to be going over uh, my build. I'll have a POB of what I did for leveling in case you guys are interested. If you, if you haven't seen the video, I go a little more in depth about that uh, it was the last video I posted so make sure you check that out if you're interested in the build um, I did change a few things um, I've been kind of lazy and just trying to map as fast as possible um, I've been trying to gear for a while and uh, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm, pro I'm probably gonna cave and start spending my currency on gear um, I was trying to self craft a lot of gear but the problem is harvest sucks this league like you get this uh, this like harvest juice I've probably ran harvest like 10 plus times in 10 plus maps and you can see I have like 300 ish of each and it costs 50 to just roll like one thing so if I wanted to reroll life it's 75 of that so I could do this like three to four times and I've run 10 harvests before I would I would run one harvest to get like five of these so it's very difficult to craft your own gear and harvest i mean over time there's like you, you could argue that oh the passive tree adds 50 percent chance to additional harvest 10 percent uh additional mo uh monster 10 percent chance all that kind of stuff you can argue that uh the atlas passive tree will help us out but honestly i don't think it's going to help us out that much because of like if you think about it we're we're getting one more harvest so we're going like three to four or four to five and then we're going and you only get like 50 to 100 per harvest so like honestly like because i was doing early maps and sometimes i would run a harvest i would run two plots and not even get any of the the harvest juice so the life force whatever you want to call it so I think it's incredibly unrealistic to like, like you're going to have to grind to get these. You're going to have to invest in a harvest and constantly run harvest. Maybe, maybe the, uh, the sextants for rare will help because, um, it looks like the individual rare monster that you kill drops its life force. So maybe if you get a, like a, a T5, like one of the super rare um harvest monsters to spawn you will get like a crazy amount of juice and maybe that's the way to run harvest now maybe you need a, a good solid build to kill those hard to kill uh harvest monsters so that's it about harvest crafting your own gear so i've been focusing on getting some essence um i'm gonna put my tree into getting essence so i have this wheel and this wheel and then i'm pathing up here and I'm, then i'm gonna grab this wheel over here uh, let's make this quick sale, by the way. So yeah, that, that's what I've been pretty much doing this league. Oh, and if you didn't notice, like if people whisper to trade you, your the item that you want to trade changes colors, which is very, very cool. So that's been something I've been doing for a little bit. Just trying to trade. I've been trading a lot of contracts, just 1C contracts. That's how I've gotten all my currency. Um, and we're not going to talk about the divine. I got really lucky for that. So yeah, um, this I'm still on a four link. I'm on the four links on my boots, which is sucky. I want to get a five link. I'm probably gonna end up buying a five link today. It's probably only like five C or less. And then um, start maybe buying some gear. My my rings are really awful. My amulet is god awful. Um, my belt, whatever. Like my gear is really bad compared to all the practice in previous leagues I've done because I've focused on harvest re-roll your stuff get a few good things and started from there um now i'm gonna just try to get up my essence pool a little bit and try to craft some of my gear through that um so that's gonna be my strategy uh some of you guys asked on how you, i craft claws um i literally just farm for the like the fire damage uh the lightning damage one the wrath or the hatred which is the cold damage um you can do any one of those and just slam them um, lightning damage is the one I try to do because I want a high tier lightning damage on my uh, claw 
Um, if I have really high lightning damage, I can have Herald of Ice and added cold on my links. And then that I'm going to guarantee proc Trinity pretty much every time because the lightning damage. Um, if you have like a T3 lightning damage, which I have T2 right now on. Um, T2 lightning, T3 lightning uh, is pretty much good enough to proc your uh, stuff all the time. So if you look at right here, I have added cold and stuff, so that's a big number. But then this number always reaches there. So I'll proc Trinity pretty often. Um, if I could have a little more lightning, maybe put on a Herald of Thunder. If it's not proccing, that's what I'll do. I'll just. But that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, look at the POB for what I link. One link that I did change is I added a... Where is it? Um, maybe I didn't add it. I added a Precision. And I'm leveling it up pretty high um, because without precision currently uh, my uh, accuracy is pretty garbage so I need precision to cap out my accuracy which is very important for this build uh, you guys can see it lighting up this time you see how it glows like that purple it's so cool um, so yeah uh, accuracy very important I would highly suggest I'm probably gonna change my path of building so I'm going to have Defiance Banner, Herald of Ice, Grace, and Precision. And uh, do that as my leak start. Because uh, before, the reason I didn't have Precision before is because I would fit in Determination. And Determination fit very comfortably. Uh, because we would spec up here, grab Influence, and then the Mastery, which is gone now. Uh, so if we got Influence with uh, the reservation mastery, we would get enough uh, mana reservation efficiency to have Grace Determination, Herald of Ice, and Defiance Banner. Now we don't, so I took out de Determination, which really does suck. Deter having Determination made this build a lot tankier, uh, but you know, we just had to take the loss. So I'm going to put in Precision. Precision just fix fixes a lot of things, so I don't have to worry about getting accuracy on my gloves or my rings or my amulet anymore or my helmet. Uh, I can kind of just get gear um, that's more defensive-based that I need and then run with that. So that's pretty much it for what I've had so far. Um, gameplay, all the things you're seeing is on a four-link still. Um, I'm running yellow maps, T8s, T9s. Is as far as I got R killing those uh, T9s on a four link pretty great so just to showcase this build does a lot of damage so on a five link I'm confident I can get into red maps on a five link so that's pretty awesome hope you guys are enjoying the build and I hope you guys are having a great league site uh, I'll see you guys on the next video later